Round two, let's go. Oh, he got him in one hit. Okay. Nope, can't touch him. Okay. Taking a lot of damage for no. Okay, can't do can't do it like that. This might take a few tries. Round three, let's go. But anyway, like I was saying with uh with Fallout. Fallout 4 doesn't have the same amount of, uh... I'm stuck on it. And that got me. Doesn't help when I take all my all my health in, a, in an instant when it puts me in a corner. Though I do know that it stops at a certain way, so as long as I'm standing at the wall, I'm at least safe. I just need to remember that if I do this, I'm at least in the clear. I got him. Oh my god. Got him. Cross bomb. What in the world is a cross bomb? So... Oh, duh. Power bomb whose blast extends in straight lines, horizontally and vertically. While in Morpho form, hold R and press Y to set. Are gonna just do that? Oh, I get it. That's actually neat. 
That's cool. It, what? How haven't they thought of that before? That is red. Open that, and now I can go to wherever this goes. Oh, to where my ship is. Hanubia. I feel like there's another section, and as I'm using my hand to point the screen, I feel like there's a section to the right of Hanubia that we haven't been in yet. Which I hope is the case, because... Like, this and Grime, I'm enjoying. I'm thoroughly enjoying. I think Metrovanias are, are generally fun. For me, at least, because it, it's fun to go around the map and and find shortcuts and just ex explore more. Well, I know there are going to be two Chozo warriors to fight in this in this, in this zone. That's going to be fun. Ah, yes, the ammo reset. Oh, and another Vega station. Uploading data. This area, Hanubia, is on the planet's surface. You finally made it, Samus. Yep. There's still a problem. Destroying the planet will eliminate the ex-parasites. But Raven Beak is unlikely to sit idly by as this happens. You will try to escape once he detects the danger. But then again... Oh. No, that is... That is true. Because I was, I was going to say, well, if the ex are all dead, and the only thing left are the, is Metro DNA and Samus, then that, me, then that means his plan failed, because now he can't replicate the Metroids. Like, he can't clone them. He can't build them up from nothing again. But then I, but then I thought, well... He made, he made the the TikTok video of, like, the experts I floating around the planet, so he probably has one stashed away ju just in case. Because we already unleashed the experts on the whole planet. So, you know, an oops on our part, but... Raven Beat's search for Metroid DNA poses a threat to the galaxy. You will never give up. The odds are still not in your favor, but you must end things here. But at the same time, since we're, since our normal instinct is to push big buttons, we couldn't we just couldn't help us help ourselves. I am searching for his location. Return here later for an update. Okay, progress. Dang it! <laughs> I was gonna make it sure. All right, how's your progress looking? Oh, right. Crossbomb. Oh, is this a new... Oh, new beam. So there's one even past green. That just makes sense. Because normally... Because normally the... Beam structure in... in Metro games work like you know you get the one that you can that shoots through enemies you get then the there's the big one which is which is oh now you get the sh shoot through walls there we go Remember to keep using the the cross beam or cross bomb, I should say. Perfect. 
normally the last beam is the one where you can shoot through walls, so it just becomes a matter of point and shoot. Venture forward. And an elevator? Oh, we're actually gonna have the the other beam, so elevator. Oh, back to Frania. Nice. But anyway, I was talking, again, talking about fall. I think I was talking about fall. But yeah, there's like, there's no real thought process behind who you pick. Like, if you're going pure gameplay-wise. Because sure, you can be like, be like, eh, I just want to go with the minimum. Because I want to do all the, I want to do all the missions. Ah! And that's exactly why we need the other beams we can shoot through walls. Ah, yes. See, as you can see, our new rifle will be able to float and spin horizontally. It won't do anything besides that, but it'll freak out your opponents so much they'll run in fear. Just by a hundred of our products. I think now that I look back at it, it's probably more a ship than a weapon or anything. Did loop back to. It's not gonna be a secret in there, but I won't worry about that. But like I said before, I won't worry about exploring again all the secrets until I'm absolutely sure I'm at the end, because then I can just make exploration episodes, which. Either will be or or won't be commentated. I don't know. I haven't just haven't decided yet. But I haven't. How do I get out of this? Okay. But Starfield, in the same vein, I don't know how RPG-esque it is, like, is it on terms of New Vegas, is it closer to being on, like, Fallout 4 terms, where it's just like, where you can just say, yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter. Like, go at it how, however you want, gameplay-wise, like, we, we won't judge, which... On one sense, I'm like, cool, thanks, but on the other side, it's like... On the other side, it's like, yeah, but I don't want another Fallout 4. I've already played Fallout 4. I want something different, something fun. Oh, there's, a, there's another Emmy here. Or no, it's the same one. Ooh. Oh, I get to beat it up. Uh, okay, right. Oh, this is the one they can see through walls, yeah. Okay, that makes sense why... 
Except now I have... Oh, I can't go that way. All these bullets. I have so much health I can just uh, ignore them. Cool. Now we get the super cannon. Now we can beat up the enemy and get the supposed final laser. And we can. And we can probably explore the entire map. Dodge. Oh, that's how. Okay, you hit, you hit L. Little R for that. Nice. Okay. Okay. But anyway about Starfield, I don't know what I don't know what it is about Starfield, but it just does not look like like what I said about what the other guy said. So he's playing an, a completely unrelated game. But he said it it didn't it didn't look impressive. And like I saw another guy play it like pretty much from the beginning and like for some reason, the like, for some reason, everyone's obsessed with having NPCs talk really annoyingly, really annoying, being re just really annoying. I don't, I don't get why. Like they haven't be like really snarky. Oh god, this is too close. Again. But it was just like they obviously didn't watch anything about Starfield or or be, to have them tell me, oh yeah, this is this is what it's gonna be like. Yada yada. Be like or whatever, but they just space travel. And of course, after playing No Man's Sky for a while, it's like, oh, there's seamless, you know, seamless space travel where 
Oh. All right. I'm sorry. So, it's like you go into your spaceship, and then you go into... You go into your spaceship, you take off, you go into space, and then you can go to planet. And you can do all that without a loading screen. Maybe you get a little bit of a hitch as the, as the game loads everything, because again, it's somewhat procedurally generated. And the only thing things kind of technically aren't procedurally generated are when... Uh, use one of the maps. Oh boy. Oh wait, now it's coming around. Oh, this is a big mistake. I bopped him on the head. Oh, got him! And I can't get over him! <laughs> uh, we're in a loop! Oh, that was, that was embarrassing. And the only time you get a loading screen is if you reload a save, or if you space warp, or if you, or if you use a... or if you use a portal. That's when you see a loading screen in normal turns. But with Starfield, I, I think some things are precision generated, but at the same time, it's like, they're kind of not, because I think, what, but that's what those right is when things are purposefully crafted. This one's giving me the most problems. I think Bethesda does, like, specifically crafted worlds the best. And not really anything procedurally generated, because they know what everything's gonna look like, they know what you're gonna see, and they have a general idea of how things are gonna... how you're gonna go about venturing through the world. Like, Skyrim. Sure, you could walk, or you could use your horse, Sure didn't intend for you to cheat steep inclines with a horse. Like I'm, I'm not kid, I'm not kidding. You just use a horse to go up steep, in steep inclines. But at this point, I don't know how you haven't played Skyrim yet. Which, no offense to anyone who hasn't, because you haven't. If you don't have a genuine interest in it, you know that's on you. That's on you. I'm not gonna hate you for it. Like, if Skyrim just didn't look like your cup of tea, then, you know... Got him! Nice. So there's only one Emmy left. Wave beam. Fires an energy wave that can pass through solid objects and terrain. Press Y to fire. Also, destroy wave beam covers. It can completed.
Nice. Now we can go through everything, too. Now where to go? Well, I guess I guess over there is the next logical point. Go here, but you know, like I was saying, I think Bethesda does like the crafted worlds best. Like everything has a purpose for it. Like, pe like, people can say, you know, Fall 4 isn't the best, there's a lot of inconsistencies, and things are kind of more there for eye candy or Easter eggs, but it's like... I like Fall 4 for the, for, the, for the gameplay, and while I probably could have played it more into the... kind of be, to be closer to how you play in RPG, like, oh, I want to play this specific way and so that and so that's how I have to that's how I have, have that's how I have to carry myself or else I'm you know going against my or else I'm going against my morals. Okay now we gotta see where the secrets are. Ah and another power bomb. Okay, but well, at least that, at least that's there. Oh wait. Seems to be ahead here. No! <laughs> I bounced off the dang it, I was doing so good. Uh and I mean Fallout 4 is another one of those mixed bags where Where personally I think I think half the DLC could have been put in what is that? Oh, screw attack. Uh yeah, I can go over here. I'll go over there real quick and then Another secret. Oh wait, no, I, I was just in this room. What am I thinking? Oh, down. The other thing is I haven't used any of the markers. Which I think is kind of... lame, because I'm not using half the game's features. Stay in the ball. I want to stay in the ball.
Bam. Done. Kind of. And done. Nice. Fun secret. Let me out. Okay, so that just leaves... Well... Whatever that secret is. But now they have this beam, I guess I can go back to Hanubia. Oh, and then I get the power bomb from the from the Emmy in Anubia because it's the last area. Smart, smart. We stock on energy. Nice. So, so I'll be back in Anubia in the next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. See ya.